as you believe it is done unto you. Now, when it comes to manifestation, you have to understand that it is from your beliefs that you manifest. Now, the, the, ga the game changer here is understanding how is a belief formed. Well, there's a few ways to understand how a belief is formed. One is through constant repetition. The other is feeling it to be real. Now, when it comes to consciously manifesting our reality, we have to understand how can we effectively, efficiently, and quickly create new beliefs, right? Now, one of the ways is, like I said before, through persistent and consistent inner conversation with yourself that you almost create a sense of self-hypnosis. And it's from this self-hypnosis that then you have essentially created this new belief and then from this belief, you then see a reflection of that in your 3D reality. The other way is through feeling something to be real. And this can be done through visualization and imagination. Where in your mind's eye, you picture using your five senses. And when I say five senses, you don't actually have to grab, close your eyes and pretend like you're doing No. In the same way that when you're in a dream, you can still smell, touch, experience whatever it is that you wish to experience. You do the same thing in your mind, mind's eye. And you do something in your mind's eye that implies the fulfillment of your desire right and this is just another way to convince or persuade your subconscious mind that something is real and once the subconscious mind is successfully persuaded it gives birth to your desire in the 3d reality right so it's a game of persuasion not a game of force and the subconscious mind is persuaded in many ways it's persuaded in when it feels something to be real it's persuaded through repetition right is persuaded through so many things and the other optimal time to convince your subconscious mind is and if not the best time is when you're in that sleepy sort of state now the best times like i said before is when you're waking up um in the in, before you've stepped out of bed like that little pocket of space where you're waking up but you're st sort of still not fully conscious that's a fantastic time to imagine yourself experiencing something doing something having something it's a fantastic t time for you to repeat new beliefs that you want to have as a present tense feeling or fact now, right? Same when you're falling asleep at night, as you're drifting off to sleep. It's a fantastic time. Or as you're feeling a little bit sleepy. The other time I've found is when you, you've ingested a large meal and you sort of feel a little bit sort of drowsy. Just put aside 10 minutes to just imagine and experience what you would like to experience in your mind's eye, not through force, but just in a, almost like in a sense of just relaxing and allowing yourself to uh, picture and experience what you want to experience, right? And you do this often. You do it until your desire materializes. They say it takes 21 days for a habit to form. So at least give yourself a crack of 21 days trying this, being disciplined with your inner conversation, positive affirmation and positive visualization of the things you wish to experience and desire upon waking and as you go to sleep during the day and maybe during the day as well when you've had a large meal and you feel a little bit you know like you might fall asleep use that time to just repeat wonderful things about yourself and, and others right and you do this consistently till you're self-persuaded right so that's the gist of this video right um yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, power, prosperity, and love always.